Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel, welcome to those of you who are new and to those of you who are following my work. I hope everyone is doing amazing. This reading is going to be focused on your earth mission or what um, some of you might call a life purpose. Um, and we're going to be channeling specifically your star ancestors, your galactic families and messages from them. Um, to see what you should be focusing on currently to support your life purpose, um, what 2021 would look like for you. You know, it's going to be an open uh, channeled message revolving around your earth mission, as I would probably call this video. We'll see. <laughs> and I haven't prepared piles this time. I have three decks, number one, number two, and number three. You can pause the video to choose between the decks or you can see which number resonates with you. Okay, some of you might be like getting, oh, number three, like in your head, like Ascended Masters, stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, you can either pick the, one of the decks or one of the number of the piles. And we're also going to be pulling Oracle cards. It's going to be like a little live session. So this might be a longer video. Maybe um, if you're not into this currently, maybe watch this later when you have the time. So yeah, um, that's all that I have for the intro of this video. Let's get into it. Um, again, pile number one, the Cosmic Tarot. Pile number two, this is the Dot Tarot. Um, and I have it in this pouch, but that's the deck. And we have... Tarot of the Seeker or something like that. Not sure what this exactly is in English. And don't know if there is a version in English of it. Probably. Um, but yeah. Um, do whatever you have to do to pick the pile. And let's get into it. Pile number one. Hello, pile number one, and welcome to your reading. Let's see what your Earth mission is all about and what you should be specifically now focusing on for the sake of 2021. How would 2021 look like? Let's see. Hmm. You know what? I decided to first pull some Oracle cards. <laughs> Yep, we're going to be absolutely intuitive. I, ho I have no structure for, for this reading, so please be patient with me getting the messages out. Power number one are definitely visionaries. I feel like your vision for 2021 is becoming clearer and stronger. There's something about walking the path that you've been envisioning walking the journey that you've been manifesting so this is not just random it's not just a miracle this is something you've been working for you've been preparing for um and you kind of already know you already can see this in your mind's eye um unfolding for you Arcturians are coming up for pile number one. Look at that. So you have Angel of Death and Angel of Vengeance. Hmm. I feel like pile number one have done huge shadow work and a huge surrendering to their shadow. You have surrendered um, your ego for the sake of getting knowledge, for the sake of um, growth, personal growth, it feels like I'm getting a sacrifice here. So pile number one, you have sacrificed something that felt very natural to you, something that felt very instinctual, maybe a decision that felt very instinctual and guided, maybe you sacrificed it for something greater. But you've definitely sacrificed um, one thing that you thought would be it, that would be your purpose, for the sake of accessing a higher purpose. Um, Arcturians are saying that um, many of you are surrendering to your 
to your human nature, but you're also evolving your human nature. I almost am getting Korakturians saying that what is normal to you is not what used to be normal. It's not anymore. Um, you have changed and you have evolved and now your understanding of um, maybe human emotions or um, how you should react to different things has changed drastically and they're saying that this is all in support of your purpose. Um, the only triggers I see right now is from... You know, people who you feel that they may not deserve what they have. I feel like some of you might have been a bit too focused on people who have the things that you you believe they don't deserve. You may believe that they they have accessed some sort of fame or success through worshipping the wrong deities, the wrong beliefs and religions. You may even feel like they are guided by lower dimensional forces. You may recognize um, your gurus or, you know, like people who kind of got you to a certain level. You may notice how they are kind of falling in consciousness, although they try to mask it. So especially for those of you who are in the spiritual community, you may find like spiritualists who are not so of the light, so sort to say. I mean, we all have shadow and light to us, but, you know, some people are governed by the light, some people are governed by the shadow. And I think you're recognizing this, you're, you're seeing a lot of truths, and I feel that you will notice power number one, and I'm not saying this to judge anyone around you, but you would notice how certain people are remaining for so long at the stage at which you used to be and your first instinct might be judging them like why are they still thinking uh, why are they still thinking this way why are they still reacting this way don't they see their mistakes or you know their faults and the things they need to work on but the reality is that they're mirroring your past version and the growth here is you should not really go back to to you should know um you should not go to judgment because this will kind of bring you back at the same frequency that they are operating at but they're simply a mirror they're showing you the things you're leaving behind with the angel of death and angel of vengeance you can either choose to leave something behind or remain um in a decaying community i feel like some of you are leaving i don't know why i'm channeling this channeling it this way but some of you are leaving a community pile number one also many of you many of you are um trying to seize your warrior mentality because I feel that you've been creating fights on your own without it being necessary. Wow, the mirror guardian. Th take time to reflect. Yes, definitely. Um, definitely people are mirroring everything you used to be, everything you're leaving behind. And for some of you... This could, you know, we could see this as a test, whether or not you're going to judge yourself, your pieces of you that you see on other in others, or you're going to hold compassion for them. Are you going to hold compassion for the parts of you who, uh, whom you've left behind, whom have died? Because these are aspects that have died, that have transformed with the angel of death, and. Through the transformation of these aspects, you have accessed a lot of knowledge and wisdom about who you are and how to continue your path. Um, but are you able to ascend and from a higher 
place. Look at these parts of you who are no longer parts of you because they have transformed. But they have once been you. And can you hold compassion for who you used to be? It is so important to hold compassion and space for who we used to be and where we started from. Because this ultimately can show what future we're building. Animal guardian, trust your instincts. Okay, give me some time with this card because this speaks a lot of different languages. This card is very um, <laughs> multi-meaningful, let's say. <laughs> So, <laughs> Animal Guardian, okay, so some of you might resonate with Regulus and Pleiades as well. Um, the Animal Guardian, we have animals from all different, representing all different uh, environments here on Earth. The atmosphere, right, um, with the birds, so air, we have Earth. Um, and just the Animal Kingdom is all-encompassing of all the elements. So this shows that your purpose will consist of exploring a lot of different fields, diving into different fields. Um, your galactic ancestors are saying that humans feel pressured with their life purpose because we don't have as much time to figure things out, or we believe so. Um, but just... When we've been on other planets, our lifespan has been longer. So we had more time to figure out who we are and what we want to do and what our mission should be like. But with the animal guardian, I feel that your instincts will show you the right things. I feel like maybe from five different hobbies or perspectives, you will... You will Cut it down to maybe two or maximum three things that you should be focusing on. But you really need to trust your gut on what is worth your time and what is worth um, your energy and exploration. Some of you might want to become vets. Or you may want to practice more of like Reiki healing or something on animals. You may want to connect with animals. There is maybe something about um, manifesting a soulmate or a guide in the form of an animal that's happening for you 2021. I feel like um, I had a similar experience recently. So I'm going to share it with you because I feel that some of you may resonate. Um, I think that getting an animal can open a new level of compassion and since you're learning how to hold compassion for all different parts of you right with the animals it's like you learn again animals are they're beautiful but think about it animal consciousness um in esoterica is a bit lower than the human consciousness because we have the animal life and then we have humans and it's not because animals are not psychic or whatever it's just the amount and levels of dimensions animal consciousness can access and human potential has there is a difference and animal consciousness is a bit lower because it's governed by the elementals and in fact, many people operate in animal consciousness. Mm, but yeah, animals are instinctive and intuitive, but they work with the elementals. While humans have potentials to work with really high, high, high beings. And I know that this can be a very controversial topic. So I'm not trying to like, tell you what to believe in and how to understand things. This is based on my studies of Esoterica. And this card again represents honoring your instincts, 
So pile number one, a lot of guidance around your life purpose will come from your past. Because this card represents your lower levels of understanding reality. And now you have a higher level. But there is something about revisiting these lower aspects of you, revisiting these lower stages at which your consciousness used to operate in order to find the right path for you. So it's like you need to go two steps backwards to move forward. And this keeps coming up. So one last oracle card and we're going to get some details with Taro. Don't worry. Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, helper, Helpers in the Subtle Realms. I'm hearing hold space for your community, power number one. Something that all the Ascended Masters stood out with is that they understood humanity, they held space for humanity, they were compassionate and they understood where we're at at each moment and they still understand us. So you are attracting a community. For some of you, it's a new community. For some of you, it's just more people to an already existing tribe. And the Ascended Masters are coming through saying that you need to learn how to be patient with your community growing. You might experience, um, sorry, you might experience um, a very rapid growth and you might feel like you're outgrowing the people around you. This can make you feel a bit lonely and isolated, but you have a lesson of be patient, wait for the right people to come the right people who can match you and also help you ascend will come to you, but also do not leave people behind. There's something about having the patience not to leave people behind at this time, pile number one. I don't know why I'm getting this, but you might feel tempted to like start something completely new, brand new. But what I'm getting actually is that you need to give something the time to blossom. This is almost like the Saturnian energy of be patient and the blessings will come. Be patient and work with all you have and the blessings will come. Because with divine orchestration, we definitely have the Lord of Time, Saturn, coming through saying that everything is in divine order. Um, right now, you cannot force things. Um, you might feel like things are a bit out of... Um, out of place, out of order, but they're not. They're not because this chaos that it, it looks like chaos or confusion is actually teaching you how to be patient. Let's get some details. <laughs> So I was asking, you know, mentally, what is power number one's purpose? In 2021, I feel like many of you will be helping people overcome their limiting beliefs, their fears of success. You might work on the law of attraction. You might be like a counselor helping people master the law of attraction. Um, but a huge part of your purpose is learning the law of attraction, mastering it. Also, I do see you yourself overcoming self-limiting beliefs. Um, so 
some of you I'm hearing like unconventional teachings because I'm getting something about everything you know everything you've been learning till now kind of collapsing or becoming more unconventional or you're conveying your information in a very unconventional way this could be through um heavily mixing spirituality with technology or heavily changing your teaching systems or your learning systems there's something with books and i'm seeing like libraries books knowledge information being completely changed rebuilt and renewed two of wands hmm. so your purpose um revolves around overcoming the fear um in order to present something to the world i feel like with you guys bar number one it's not about talent or skills because i feel like many of you already have them it's about confidence it is about seeing potential in your creation and what you have to present to the world in your gifts some of you um I'm getting working with earth, crystals, jewelry, metals. So some of you might create a very beautiful jewelry line that needs to be energetically charged. Um, you might work like, um, uh, you might um, create like personalized jewelry, like, you know, um, metals for the birth date of the person and the crystals and um, maybe even engraving the, the name or the initials of the person or something like that like very energetically personalized objects and specifically jewelry for some of you this can extend to any craft you know like candles or um clothing but specifically um jewelry is what i'm seeing because i see you working with earth Your purpose is about creating something that comes very intuitively and instinctively to you. Tapping into this animal guardian consciousness of instincts, inspiration. Judgment card and the seven of swords reversed. It's crazy how you have the angel of death and you have the judgment card. Wow, so definitely resurrecting something. Resurrection of something will lead to unknown places, unexpected places. You know what is interesting? <clears throat> In 2021, you will definitely start by following your vision, re really following a path you've already seen for yourself, especially with the Queen of Pentacles. Like practicality will be a huge theme for you guys. But I'm almost getting like mid-year, around the end of the year, you will end up in a place where you really couldn't see, you really didn't expect. And your star and sisters are saying this is the magic this is the magic of manifestation and of creation you create the foundation and everything but a good surprise here and there is never rejected by the universe so you can expect um you know unexpected blessings coming to you <laughs> like yeah you can expect that um but it will happen it's in a time and place where you will find yourself and you will really think, wow, I can't believe I ended up here. Um, and I feel that for <clears throat> for many of you, 2022, um, sorry, 2020 and 2021 will have a huge contrast. Although to you, you might think you've been doing the same things and everything, but somehow you end up in a completely different vibrational state, in a completely different space. For some of you, like buying a studio, renting a studio to do your business, um, to do your crafting might be a huge change and a huge 
a huge change to your lifestyle, okay? You will be adjusting your lifestyle in ways that you could never imagine. So this is all I'm getting for pile one. I hope you guys resonated with this. I hope you enjoyed it. This is your guidance for your life mission, your earth mission, um, specifically for 2021. That there was a focus here. And this these are your messages from your star ancestors. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comment section below. And um, if you want to contact me, I have all of my information in the description box below. And if you're feeling generous, I also have my wish list link and my PayPal link for donations or gifts if you're feeling generous. Um, so yeah, that's it, pile number one. I really enjoyed this. I hope you did as well. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what your purpose is like for 2021. What you should be focusing um, on to support your earth mission. So we're going to use this deck if you chose the deck in the pouch. Um, but first we're going to pull some oracle cards. I am getting though, because um, I paused the video, you know, took a bit of rest and I was getting a lot of like Lemuria, a lot of strong feminine energy, a lot of um, sisterhood of the rose, um, Isis, Maat, lots of feminine energy, a lot, a lot of fertility, but also my left leg um, um, felt very like how do I explain it? I felt just sudden tingles all over my left leg. I feel that many of you um, have a very negative connotation or um, a negative perception of um, the male, the masculine energy, maybe a disbalanced, um, disbalanced um, relationship with your own masculine energies mistrust and structure mistrust in the government mistrust and i mean i understand the last one but mistrust in everything that is masculine oriented mistrust in science and it's like this can be a bit limiting for you guys because you see a lot of fertility a lot of potential to grow your ideas but some of you either will collaborate with a male figure or you will have to establish some routine, some structure, some uh, more masculine, maybe more dominant, motivated type of energy to finally pull through, um, pull these ideas through the veil um, and manifest them into the physical. You understand what I'm saying? I'm getting a lot, a lot of ideas. I'm getting like, I'm seeing Jupiter and I'm seeing expansion of so many so many branches but that fertile soil will just be soil if you don't dig in with <laughs> with the tools you have if you don't dig in and plant the seeds and go and water them and ask around how do i take care of my of my forest of my garden you need to um make peace with the masculine traits of you know this energy with the masculine behaviors um, and your own masculine energies you need to make peace with it you need to trust once again the masculine energy and the masculine uh, wisdom because i'm also getting that some of you are struggling to manifest a relationship because of that and in 2021 i feel that one or two very strong soulmates are coming in and i want you guys to be ready because they will be very supportive of your life purpose and even will help you expand what you what you have what you're thinking about creating birthing in, into existence but i'm afraid you might push away them you might push them away you might push away these um soulmates who want to help you and they don't have to be male you know males they only the difference is that they contain very strong masculine energy and they know how to execute ideas. I'm getting very artistic people here. Um, and 
yeah, you might struggle with promoting yourself. Oh my god, okay, so <laughs> a lot of Syrian energy is coming through, like Sirius is coming through, very strong Syrian star seeds, also Orion star seeds. Mintaka specifically. Yeah, you have a whale spirit guiding you guys. Envision swimming with a whale before you go to sleep. This will kind of reprogram your subconscious to take you um, home to to open uh, open your your gate of consciousness so that your galactic um, ancestors can enter your dreams and communicate with you. They're saying that as much as you operate in your feminine energy, you've been closed because the feminine feels unprotected without having her masculine abilities to create boundaries so you cannot connect if you're struggling to connect or if you feel like you're overly connecting you have no boundaries and this makes you drained and you know you you feel sick of doing spiritual work or whatever your galactic galactic ancestors are saying that doing this visualization swimming with the whale um, it can help you be more brave to dive deep. It can help you also create these boundaries. Um, and overall, um, connecting with your masculine with, will protect your lunar energies, your feminine energies. It will give you some structure to navigate all the psychic messages coming through. Um, um, and it will make the messages make sense to you. Because right now you might get a lot of synchronicities, that don't make sense and you may feel all over the place um, with your purpose and it's because you need to govern um, your moon you need to be more conscious when you open uh, your consciousness to <laughs> information to psychic streams of information look what we have Material angel of rain. Hmm. So this is about purification. Prayer. Okay, how does your purpose look in 2021, pile 2? That kill, angel of mercy. Okay, hold on. This is, I believe, the the blend of Mars and Jupiter expansion and focus and with rain we have purification so power number two um <laughs> your galactic <clears throat> sorry uh, your galactic ancestors are saying that through purification through asking for this clarity through um i'm getting you need to remove from your life distractions in the form of instant gratification there are a lot of sources that are instant gratification for you that are with a lot of dopamine i'm getting you need to go on a dopamine cleanse so less less watching tv less watching youtube videos <laughs> i mean i'm a i'm here on youtube but i'm still giving you the advice to Limit the dopamine, okay? Um, try to be 
try to focus more on output rather than input. Um, they're saying that journaling, meditation, exercise are, and maybe reading is a better way of stimulating your, your brain. It's still less than social media and technologies. So you need to go on a dopamine cleanse because your psyche is cluttered. Okay, your your third eye, your crown, they're cluttered with ideas, with so many things to do, so many things to watch, um, so many ways to be like, I don't know, productive and active. And with Angel of Mercy, we have balance between expansion and focus and taking action. Um, so you need to, after this cleanse, you will be able to be more focused Okay, to be more focused, to kind of really determine where your energy is going. You're discovering um, what parts of your purpose are purely for the glamour pur purely for for the the fame or how you would look in the public eye and um kind of pulling yourself away from the fast moving um the fast rhythm of the city and social media and um you know people who push really hard and everything Pulling away from that and kind of focusing on balancing this feminine who feels, you know, when, you, when you're when you not in touch with your masculine side, what happens is that your feminine is so stimulated, um, your feminine is like expanding all the time, lacking boundaries, investing in everything because you feel so connected to everything and that's why you need to pull away from everything to kind of shift your focus on one thing and um and decide what aspects of your purpose truly satisfy you long term and what aspects of your purpose you're doing for the instant gratification that's a big question you need to ask yourself to gain the clarity you're seeking Many of you have this amazing gift of communicating clearly to people, being authentic, seeing through their own illusions, being able to call them out on their bullshit. And yeah, part of your purpose will require you to call yourself out. But, but that's okay because you will realize that doing things for um for the simple simple sake of inspiration divinely guided inspiration is much more fulfilling than doing it for the gratification that comes from other people so you guys in 2021 are learning how to do things because you're inspired from within rather than chasing things outside of you this is a game changer of your status of the power you will have over, over your work, over your path, over of, over your destiny. You will gain much more control and power over your destiny because your decisions will be driven from within, which is such a beautiful switch you're turning. Look at that. You have the hermit coming up, confirming everything we were talking about. And guardian angel, you're not alone. So it's very important when you see through your own illusions that you don't judge yourself too harshly. But in fact, with guardian angel and you're not alone, 
I'm drawn to the image on the cards and I'm seeing really these gates of psychic uh, psychic realms opening for you to enter these realms and explore break the chain ancestral patterns healing rewrite um, rewriting the future one more card play have fun celebrate don't be so serious so uh <laughs> interesting in 2021 many of you because you're stepping in your power you guys you will learn how to entertain yourself which is big this is big because um you might access like this key behavior for manifesting the things you've struggled with the most because you're becoming detached a lot of your purpose revolves around detaching from the expectations of how your purpose should look like and this is when it's going to manifest maybe you're taking a break from your studies you're taking a break from I'm pursuing something and you're being more spontaneous you're allowing yourself to maybe travel or explore something that is not so serious there is no attachment attachments to that thing um some of you might feel like you're disappointing family members or you're pulling away from your family members but this is purely for the sake of self-discovery this is purely for the sake of um making your heart's desire a tangible manifestation because right now i feel that this masculine focused martian energy jupiterian type of expansion they're going in the wrong direction because you might be doing things that serve the collective more or serve um people and their own ideas of who you should be rather than you and it's that's why you subconsciously don't, don't enjoy it and that's why you're suppressing um, the energy when it comes to your true dreams. It's, it's like you're wasting all of it in one direction that you're not enjoying and then when you try to focus on what you enjoy doing, it's all just a fantasy because you don't have any more gas in the tank to actually fulfill that dream. And this is what is changing. You're pulling away from all the things that are training you that you're not liking. And instead, you're learning how to almost unnoticeably start fulfilling your dreams one by one. I'm seeing that 2021 for Pile 2 will be slow progress, um, but it will be very worth it. Because I, I do see like little by little, piece by piece, things are coming in alignment for you and one after the other dreams are manifesting wow you guys you have the eight of wands ten of wands five of wands so why I'm saying you might pull away from your studies is because I feel that um, the way you communicate and the way things are communicated to you in 2021 are cha is changing. Um, hmm, hold on. Yeah, and we have the magician. It's like you have completely different priorities in 2021. You have completely different perspectives of the future. Here we have Jupiter in the background. Like the future is looking very different than what you thought. Your structures are falling apart um, to be rebuilt. And 
and I just see you guys drive um um not driving pulling a lot of motivation from your restrictions it's almost like the more people push your buttons the more they restrict you the more motivated you are to show them otherwise i just i just really see like uh you know one day power number two saying fuck it <laughs> screw this and you're going your own way and after you do that shift this is when this slow build is taking place like dream after dream everything is coming into your life and yes it's slow but it required some sort of snap from your side If you've been feeling lethargic, um, lethargic and everything with the magician, we have Mercury coming through, and Mercury is all about uh, is all about amplifying the things that you already have. And since we have so many wands, I feel like twenty twenty one will be um, your uh, your frustration with the things that are not present in your life will be amplified and this is a catalyst for you to make changes happen and the four of wands oh my god just watch out for your ego okay some things you might try to manifest out of ego. If you try to prove someone wrong um, and you try to show off, this might... Yeah, this is where your motivation comes from, but it's not the best place, okay? It's a good start, but you need to quickly change this mentality because if you try to compete or prove your skills to someone just to kind of get back at them uh, for whatever... You know, this might, this is creating just a lot of, like, manifestation out of ego. This is creating, like, quick manifestation that will simply go away right after your ego was satisfied and you, you're, it's, it's done, right? It's done. It's not committed anymore to this manifestation. Um, so, you're being guided to really, whatever you discover that you love doing, commit to it from pure heart from your heart you guys it's gonna be a bit of, a bit of a struggle because again restrictions are being released so you might feel like a wild animal finally let out to run in the fields in the forest and have fun um after this long period of stagnation and confusion and walking in circles but do not allow this rush to really um simply create temporary um, sources of happiness so for some of you your earth mission involves reading the akashic records um, helping families transcend karma work out karma some of you might be hypnotherapists or you know, like helping people accessing their past lives and things like this. Um, for others, you could be studying law and health. And I'm also getting advertisement. The, adver the advertisement industry. Um, maybe I'm just coming up with a lot of ideas. Yeah. I'm almost getting, you know... Mm, Finding use of all the ideas you have in your head. Some of you are changing uh, your workplace. And this is connected to your life purpose because, first of all, you will be training more of your masculine energy wherever you go, the next, the next place you're um, forwarded towards. Um, it will require more of masculine energy and more action. 
um, but it will also at the same time you will have more free time is what I'm getting because you will learn how to create a better schedule for yourself structure things better for yourself and this will open up more time and I think it's something you've been needing because I feel that um, even if when you've been resting you haven't been resting properly so yeah 2021 is very dualistic for pile 2 but it's also very um, intense there's like this slow build of intensity you know what I mean? Um, it is intense and it feels fast, but it's a slow build. And it's so hard to explain it. I cannot come up with an example. Um, for example, okay, <laughs> I'm trying, okay, I'm trying my best. You have an exam and you have like six months to prepare for the exam. And you have so much time, but at the same time, you have so many things to do. So you know you have a lot of time, but you have a lot of things to do and you're restless and the closer the exam is uh, the time frame the smaller the time frame the more it intensifies but you've been studying regularly and you know you're prepared but you still feel that anxiety and excitement at the same time that's what i'm getting that is what pile pile 2 experienced in 2021 like preparing for a lot of things and there is so much time to do everything you have the space the energy the tools but it's just there is an intensity because you're truly excited your heart is awakened to what you're doing so yeah pilots you i hope you resonated with this reading hopefully you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below make sure to like and subscribe and that's all i've got um hopefully i could pick up on some details that will be just clear guidance for you guys so that you don't doubt any any of your um any aspect of your path um and yeah this is everything i have so make sure to check out the description box for all of the information you need about me to contact me and i've also provided with links um to to my paypal for donations if you're feeling generous and to my wish list with decks i would love to use during the reading sessions so thank you again for watching and i will see you next time bye power number two hello pio three okay you guys whoever chose this deck your energy <clears throat> is coming with a blast so pile number three i'm getting first of all a lot of finances um, financial blessings coming in like your account would be um spiking high up um but i'm also getting you will have a lot of professional involvement 2021 in relation to your life purpose something some of you are achieving like the label professional you know of whatever you used to learn or you used to do just as a um self-taught something um, whatever job that was you're becoming a professional you're gaining uh a label that makes people feel like you're the big deal you know <laughs> And I'm getting a lot of like work with people on very, very high levels of status. On a very high uh, level of accomplishment. You're, wo you're working with people who will really know what they're doing. And I think that this is exactly what you need. Um, for some of you, you need to... Um, um, oh gosh... My vocabulary is literally <laughs> spilling out of my brain. You need to heighten your prices on whatever you're making. Um, just you need to start seeing yourself in the light of a professional because this is what you're becoming. Um, and it's very important because there is a bigger recognition that you deserve that your ancestors have been working on gifting to you. And this recognition will come through your own recognition of your talents and abilities. It's almost like you're starting to take yourself seriously. 
mm, you have a lot of Lyran presents, of course. The Lyrans are the best when it comes to royal stuff. Um, but some of you connect to either the Pleiades or specifically Aldebaran, um, the fixed star, along with Antares, the fixed star of Scorpius. So we might have like strong Scorpio or Sagittarius um, placements. So yeah, with this deck, sorry, first we're going to pull Oracle cards to kind of get a forecast for 2021 in your Earth mission from your galactic ancestors. A lot of elegance is what I'm hearing is entering your life because I'm having a vision of a swan and swans to me are royal, they're noble, but they're elegant and they're just very pure so you are accessing this power out of purity with a pure mindset you don't have um hidden motives and you know hidden drives and agendas Zachriel, Angel of Memory. So, actually, what I'm getting, this is not going to be for everyone, of course, but some of you have been taken on ships, like abducted, um, and your body feels different, you feel physically different. Um, some of you have been marked with a protection code, so... Ever since you've been taken, either um, the activity you're experiencing paranormally uh, has um, has ceased or it has been uh, minimized. Or you feel like negative people or situations or even like big, you know, big names, um, big famous people who have a lot of power kind of don't have access to you, they don't see uh, the things you're doing, the things that are very important for fighting against any control system that you're doing, many of your indigos, but you also have a lot of golden um, specks of dust in your aura, so this is the royalty in you guys, oh my god, yes, and Keter, the crown spirituality. With Angel of Memory and the Crown, you guys are remembering your divinity. You are remembering that everything you brought into creation comes from a high, high place. It comes from source. Everything is source. You're remembering that you are source, that you're always connected, that separation has always been just an illusion to create experience. This connectivity um, to almost your higher self, some of you might even see your higher self or a higher dimensional being or have a prophetic dream about your purpose, but there is a very strong crown activation that is reminding you, reminding you of why you came here. I'm also getting that some of you are releasing judgment around the things you want to do in order for you to finally do it because some of you have been afraid of wanting certain things because they may have been labeled bad or they have been labeled egoistic or uh, reptilians work in these fields. For example, you want to be famous or an actor, an actress um, or something. Or you, you want to have influence and you might have been convinced that this is what bad people do or, you know, the bad guys occupy these positions. It could be uh, working in, I don't know, like the European Union, you know, whatever. Um, it can be even that big. Um, and you're releasing judgment and you're remembering that we all come with a purpose and it doesn't matter what field you enter. I mean, you could literally go and sell your body for money um, and you might have like, I don't know, 
a mission in that, you know? There is just so much judgment around different work positions, different dreams that people have, and you're letting go of all that, allowing yourself to really tap into a very powerful, powerful um, um, aspect of you. Like a lot of word issues around I'm not deserving of being, I'm not deserving of being a star seed, I'm not deserving of being a old so, I'm not deserving of being in this position or being a professional of that thing. You are letting go of this because you're remembering, your memory has been activated. white witch be the light <laughs> beautiful you guys you guys whatever you do whatever field you enter you are the light in that field um i feel like for many of you it can be a highly saturated field where there is a lot of competition or a lot of people are doing this and a lot of people are maybe um you know very much in their ego because they're doing this but you you're going to be um um, a spark of light in, in, in that space. You will even enlighten people who want to do the same thing. You will enlighten people who operate at a consciousness that connects with a lot of drama and um, also, ooh, I'm getting, I'm hearing occult. So some of you are either entering the public eye and you're going to be enlightening, peop enlightening people through that, through achieving like, you will be known for just acting different than all the other people who do the same thing as you. Or some of you are entering um, deep, 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 very serious communities or schools of the occult. And you are remembering um, true spirituality, true magic, true white magic. And you can see how... Some of that has been distorted and presented in, a, in the wrong way. And you're reminding people. You're reminding people of what the teachings of light are and what the teachings of darkness are. But many of you, pile number three, have transcended duality, which is so hard but so beautiful. Winter. Wolf. Take care of your needs. With this energy, I do get that <clears throat> after a long period of waiting for your blessings to come or feeling like nothing is moving for you, feeling like you always end up in a very bad place, this is going to leave your life, this energy. Some of you might even feel cursed for having certain gifts and abilities and you're really um, leaving this, this um, sensation, this perception. Oh my god. I can't believe it. We have the protection card. Go back your power. Cut the cord. So retrieval. Yes, you guys. Yes. Angel of memory. So memory. You are remembering your great past lives. You're remembering your lineage. Where you come from. This trust and where you come from is giving you the ultimate protection. No evil eye can reach you. There is a white... Um, like a like a cloak around you, a white cloak that is keeping you safe. The evil spirit or the, the, the bad guys, they cannot see you. Yes, just say yes. 
Just say yes. Just accept who you are. Just accept your greatness. A lot of hater souls, a lot of lion souls. <laughs> okay, we have Daughter of Swords, Confidence. It literally says confidence on the card. I cannot even. Ten of Swords. And Five of Wands. Okay, so. Yeah, I see corporations, big companies working with just big names and big people. <laughs> um, you need to have the confidence, okay? You really need to have the confidence. You're definitely, your life purpose, especially in 2021, there is a lot of competition around what you want to do, but you need to trust that you stand out because of your values. You stand out because of your virtues. You guys, you have a lot of virtues and um, one, of you, one of them is in fact the high morals, the high values, um, that drive you, that motivate you, that you live by. I don't know why, but they're saying something about... Your galactic ancestors are saying something about making a promise. They're saying you signed the contract, you made a promise, you remembered the promise, you made it again. Uh, this is... Some of you really promised yourself something, like right now in, in, in this conscious lifetime. Um, but you need to realize that this is a promise you made before you even came here. And you, it wasn't the first time you make this promise. It just, you confirmed it. So now it's really up, up to you to fulfill, keep the promises you made to yourself and to your higher self. We have Chiron or the multiverse, detachment, zero point field, zero point gravity. You guys are starting over big time. You are really um, creating a brand new life. I feel like maybe you gave away a lot of things. I'm getting a lot of loneliness with power number three, like being lonely for a very long time in order to rise, to understand yourself and to stand out so that others can understand you. You had to be alone to gain a lot of self-awareness so that then you can really be creative and show the world that pulling your soul into the 3D, into the physical reality, manifesting your soul, making your soul being your personality is the most powerful thing to do. I'm just getting a strong, strong embodiment of the higher self here. Three of Cups. Yeah, a lot of like gala dinners, like going, signing up contracts or a lot of um, flirtatious type of energy when you talk to people, you kind of um, persuade them. You will be working with all sorts of people, okay? You need to be very open-minded about the people you work with. Two of Swords. 
but you have this ability to negotiate um, and to really communicate with all walks of life, right? And you can do it and you can achieve a lot of um, support for your projects through that, through that ability of communication. I'm hearing that in 2021, the path is clear. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Oh, sorry, Ten of Cups. I'm hearing trusting your own time is taking you to the top. Being patient with yourself is worth it. Being patient with your development is worth it. A lot of emotional fulfillment. The Ten of Cups, Mars in Pisces. A lot of satisfaction with what you have created, you guys. And specifically how far you've come. And specifically how far you've come emotionally. I'm hearing withstanding your ground emotionally is crucial to keep going. Let me grab a crystal. Some of you might work, um, I don't know, I'm seeing someone in a, in a TV studio, you know, like a TV show studio and you're like offset, but behind the scenes, um, some of you might work on decor, uh, decoration for, for stages, cos costumes, um, A lot of visual things is what I'm picking up on. But also very much businessy type of vibe. I'm getting like a very professional and elegant vibe. So whatever you do, it will impress people. You know what your galactic ancestors are saying? You need to accept your mission for what it is. Because in a past life, you were just a simple person. But there was this past life where many of you were just a simple person with a simple life. Or nothing seemingly special. And you were craving recognition. And you were craving to be important. To feel like you're serving the planet. And... Your galactic ancestors are saying, accept the attention because this is healing you. This is not about your ego. This is actually healing this past life energy where you felt neglected. It's balancing the scales.
I'm hearing the golden golden age of Atlantis. So many of you have been incarnated on Atlantis specifically during its blossoming times. And I'm seeing someone teaching magic to children, working with children. And others being a priest or a priestess consulting um, on something that looks like a table made out of crystal. You've been, you were a channeler and you were like giving your opinion uh, on what decisions or what information is good to be released at this time and what you should be making for the progress of people. So definitely a lot of knowledge, wisdom, power that comes from your mind, from your mental agility, from the amount of information you can contain. There is power around how knowledgeable you are. You need to, I'm hearing that you will be starting gaining confidence in your intelligence, in your ability to uh, perform a new profession because you're mentally prepared and adequate for it. So this is what I'm getting for your purpose file number three. I hope you resonated with this reading and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you did like the video, make sure to like, share and subscribe because this really helps my channel grow and it um, supports my work. Um, all of my information for contact is in the description box below along with links to my PayPal for donations if you want to support me and also my wish list link with decks that I would love to use during our readings. Um, the more decks, the more interesting messages, right? Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um, I hope you did as well and I will see you next time. Bye!